Okay, so for converting from Roman numerals into our um, Hindu Arabic decimal system, it's mainly a process of decoding um, and also just taking into account the subtractive principle. So for um, a numeral like this, what we'd need to do is firstly make sure we know what all the symbols mean. So in this case, um, we've got M, which is equal to 1,000. And then we see here that the C is before a D, and a C is worth 100, a D is worth 500, so the C is occurring out of sequence, which means that it must be a subtractive C. So in this case, um, we've got the C and the D together are uh, equal to 400. <clears throat> we could think of that as the C being negative 100 and the D being 500, and do it that way, or we can just think of them sort of as uh, a single single sort of symbol representing 400. Same thing happens with the X and the C here. Since an X is 10 and it's smaller than the C, um, it needs to be subtracted. So this X and this C together gives us 90. And then finally we've got a 5 and also a 1. And so adding all of these together is how we get our number. When we're going in the other direction, so when we're um, converting from uh, decimal into Roman numerals, the main thing that we need to do is make sure that we do it in efficient way as in an efficient way as possible. <clears throat> um, so in this case, we've got to make three thousand nine hundred and eighty-four. We can do the three thousand with m's because that's the biggest numeral we have. And then for representing the 900, um, you know, one way um, that we might be tempted to do this is with a D and then four C's. <clears throat> um, but when we get up to nines, so 900, nines, 90s, etc., we do this with the subtractive principle. So in this case, we're actually going to do not D and four C's. We're going to do a C in front of an M to represent 900. So that'll be C, M here. <clears throat> and then we've got the 84 to make up. So 84 we do with an L and three X's. We don't do any subtractive rule here. So it's just going to be 80 written like this. <clears throat> and in order to represent the four, we do use the subtractive principle again. So we don't do it um, I'll just write that as 80. So <clears throat> we don't represent 4 like this. We represent it like this. And so that would be IB here. And this would be our final number, which as you can see is quite long, um, just given that we've used the 9s and the 4s, etc. Okay.